horribly afraid. It may not yet be the end. For whom do you fear? For my son. When the news of my husband's death came, I was ill. My son, who has just come down from Oxford, went out there. He brought the, the body home. But now he has gone out again, in spite of my prayers and entreaties. He is so fascinated by the work that he intends to take his father's place and carry on the system of excavations. You may think me a foolish, credulous woman, but, Monsieur Poirot, I am afraid. Supposing that the spirit of the dead king is not yet appeased. Perhaps to you I seem to be talking nonsense. No, indeed, Lady Willard, said Poirot quickly. I too believe in the force of superstition, one of the greatest forces the world has ever known. I looked at him in surprise. I should never have credited 